Hello everyone, Mustache Mike here. The other day while working on a project, I had a very thin rabbit. And as I started to glue up the back panel, I realized I needed to do a little tweaking. Now the rabbit was very thin. It was a little over an eighth of an inch. Now most of us too, as far as using a chisel to clean it up, the, the narrowest in many people's collection is, like mine, is a quarter of an inch. So on occasion, like with that particular situation, it would be nice to have a very, very thin chisel. So I thought, well, why not take one of my quarter inch chisels and grind it down? But why destroy one tool just to make another if there's other options? So I started to think, what do I have around the shop that I could use to make a chisel? Now, the first thing that came to mind was a screwdriver. I've got lots of those around. But generally, most screwdrivers, uh, the blade is only a quarter of an inch. It's flared at the end, of course. And the other drawback of a screwdriver is most of them generally are not all that hard, maybe made out of chrome vanadium at the best. So I started to think, what do I have around here that I could use? The answer, a drill bit. Okay, so I chose to start by making my handle. I chose a piece of oak. I want my handle to be all oh, about five inches long. A um, little profile on the ends, some uh, non-slip grooves, a little sanding, and then we'll cut the ends off and head over to the belt sander to touch it up. So there we go. The handle's ready to go. Well, of course, we got to put a hole in it. And the nice thing about using a drill bit, if the drill bit is still in good shape like uh, this one was, you can use the drill bit you're going to use to make the chisel shaft to drill the hole. So that's exactly what I did. So you'll need a little dish of water to keep things cool. Another thing I did was so that I could always come back to the same flat on the side of the stone is I put a little mark on the handle on the side I wanted to be uh, the flattest side of uh, my chisel. Now as I ground this too, I, I worked all four sides. I wanted to bring um, the two lateral sides down to just a little bit more than the radius of the uh, drill bit here so that they were flat on the sides. So I did that occasionally and then I would flip over to either the back or to the front side of the chisel and while dipping in it in the water all the time. Then, of course, you'd want to switch over from uh, a coarse stone to uh, a finer stone so you can take the grinding marks out and start to really uh, get to where you want to be with this grind. Now, even though this is not a sharpening uh, video, I did want to hone this a little bit, so I took a little pocket uh, diamond stone and to kind of finish up on the edge on this. And to kind of finish it up, I applied some oil to the wood. So there you have it. The width of this is under a quarter of an inch and uh, came out quite sharp. As you can see here, I'll cut a little wood and it makes a nice chisel. Pretty cool, hey? An easy way to make a custom width chisel. And if you're like me, I got a lot of drill bits around that I'm not using. So you could make one virtually any width that you needed. So there you have it for today. We hope you come back soon. Hey, if you aren't a subscriber, please do so. And check us out at StumpyNubs.com. The virtual magazine is full of videos like this and many other things as well. So we'll see you soon.